declaration to the global call for action. <coughs> for me, I do realize that it is a call to set up that one can call a sleeping giant. And I hope this declaration and this global call for action is going to wake up the sleeping giant here. <laughs> As leading healthcare pro providers, professionals, and organizations, we know that according to the Lancet, climate change is the greatest global health threat of the 21st century. <coughs> we know that the health impacts on climate change, such as the spread of vector borne diseases and the consequences of heat waves and extreme weather events, are already being left around the world, particularly in South Saharan Africa, where most people die as a consequence of climate change than anywhere else. We are profoundly concerned that as greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise unabated, data <coughs> climate change will magnify existing health crises deepening and broadening the global burden of disease. This will in turn raise health care costs worldwide, while undermining and overwhelming public health infrastructure everywhere. The overwhelming burden will fall on the most vulnerable, those living in poor countries who have contributed least to green house gas, gas emissions. We also know that what is good for the climate <coughs> is good for health, and that an equitable resolution to climate change will result in major health benefits worldwide. Given the gravity and urgency of the situation and the opportunity to promote public health by addressing climate change, we call on our colleagues in public health organizations, health professional associations, <coughs> hospitals, health systems, and ministries of health around the world to endorse this call to action and take considered action. Having convened at the first Global Climate, climate and Health Summit in Durban, South Africa, we hereby commit to one, provide leadership. As representatives of our organization, we will drive the agenda for climate and, and health, promoting this call to action throughout the world. To engage and inform. We will engage and inform our constituencies of millions of doctors, nurses, private health workers, hospitals, <coughs> health systems, and health policy makers about health risk from climate change and the health benefits of climate action. As health professionals, we will also serve as messengers to our patients, our communities, and our governments about the major health impacts of climate change and the steps they can take to reverse their impact. Three, mitigate. We will lead by example and reduce the carbon footprint to our own institutions, practice, and activities. We will strive to make our hospitals greener and healthier by reducing waste, investing in energy efficiency and clean energy sources while promoting sustainable transport and resource consumption. By doing so, we commit to demonstrating how our societies can move forward towards carbon neutrality. Four, adapt. We will strive to make our health systems more resilient and capable of withstanding and responding to the human toll of natural disasters and the shifting burden of disease. Five, advocate locally and nationally. We will work with our countries, within our countries, to advocate for emissions reduction, 
and all low carbon development strategies that promote both a healthy climate and public health. We will call for solutions that reduce the local health impacts of fossil fuels, solutions that foster clean energy and social justice, <coughs> solutions that save lives and money while protecting public health from climate change. Lastly, advocate globally. We will advocate for a fair and binding global agreement as articulated in the Defense Declaration on Climate and Health. I thank you.